Hey everybody, welcome to Real Estate Radio with the MKT Real Estate Group. I'm John McPherson. I'm Angela Calamaris. Where is she this time? I think she's hot yoga. How can anyone do hot yoga? I know it's 800 degrees there, but she does it. And you could bounce a coin off of her butt. I think she's getting an award somewhere. Do you? Yeah, yeah. She always yeah. forgets about us. She does. Late. Always late. Mm -hmm. So um, we got Wendyisms, and I got, I've got, I, I want to ask you, do you know what this is? That's a Game Boy. It is a freaking Supra Display E key keypad, but affectionately known to the world from Wendy Taylor as a Game Boy. A Game Boy, right? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to start off by saying how proud I am of you and all of your accomplishments over the years. Um, Anybody that has ever met Wendy, my mom, knows that she lives to serve others. Her passion is helping other people, and real estate has really allowed her to share that gift with the world. I didn't realize what the uh, Hall of Fame was. I'm not a realtor. I have other business interests, and I only know about real estate through Wendy's sort of second hand. But I looked online uh, at something that Amanda had sent me, and I saw all the people who had uh, previously been inducted into this Hall of Fame. And, um, and I, I know or knew uh, a great many of them, and it's a very elite group. And I realized how special this really is for Wendy to be recognized uh, by her peers uh, for this honor. I'm very, very proud of her and happy for her. I love her to death. Like I said, she's like a sister to me. Um, this is a very well-deserved honor. Um, she's always on every committee that there is. Um, she loves to help people. Her mind is like a vault. She'll come in and she will say, do you remember those people? And she'll say their names from back in 2002. And I'm like, no, I don't. She's on every committee, every board, every, I mean, everything with her church. She even one time was coaching a six-year-old little girl's soccer team at the Y. And this was like within the last five years, I think. And I don't think Wendy ever played soccer. Somebody asked her and she said, okay, I'll do it. So she is just that person that wants to be there and help everybody with everything. This is very well deserved for Wendy because um, I don't know anybody that works any harder. I don't know when she sleeps or how she sleeps because I feel like she's up at like four in the morning and she doesn't go to bed till like midnight. I don't, the woman is insane. I don't know how she does it all. We go to a boot camp and it's from 515 to six, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we work out Mondays and Fridays, six to seven, and Wednesdays, thank God we don't do anything. But she's usually on her phone talking to some of her clients or her friends, waking them up, giving them motiva motivational speeches just to get them going for the day. We met on a blind date. Uh, was set up by a mutual friend, Butch Hauk, who is well known in the area as an architectural designer. And we met uh, for a drink at Ryan's in the bar. Wendy had told me when I called her to set it up that she was a dishwater blonde. And so I go to the bar and in walks this brunette. And she introduces herself and I said, well, you're not a dishwater blonde. And she said, well, yes, I am. Look, look more closely. That's how it started with Wendy. Um, by the time the evening was over, she was telling me about uh, some commercial buildings that she uh, wanted to lease, and we had set up an appointment, a second date, to drive to Greensboro to look at these buildings. These were uh, commercial buildings at the time. She was a leasing agent uh, for a commercial developer. So that's how she started in the real estate business. Sandy and EJ went to India to a wedding, and after we got home, I was by myself, and I got really sick. I got pneumonia, and Wendy took great care of me. She came over with soup and juice and helped with the dogs when I needed it, and uh, she was, she's a great caretaker, and she, we can always count on Wendy if we need her. So I've got a couple of stories, one about Wendy's determination. When she was 18 months old, she had what was called lazy eye, and the doctor gave her glasses and she did not like them. And so she would hide them. 
and I would find them, put them back on her. And eventually we couldn't find them anywhere. And she was just sort of smiling and we went outside and she had put them behind the back wheel of the car, hoping we would not see them. But the other thing I wanted to tell was just, Wendy is such a hard worker and her mom keeps telling her don't work so hard. We go to Sedona and I wake up in the morning and she's sitting out in the sun looking at the red rocks on her phone talking to a client. We go to Bali and I go out and she is sitting on the front porch of her the house she's in working on her computer because her phone died, working with clients in Winston-Salem. Um, go to the Grand Canyon, she's sitting on the edge of the Grand Canyon having gotten off a mule ride, talking to a client. Go to, uh, lived in Alaska for a long time, so we're in Anchorage and she is, my phone is dying, what do I do? Let's go find the phone because I have got work I need to do. Wendy is a, is a one of a kind, I think, People that know her would would agree with that. She she has uh, lots of windyisms. Um, uh, she still thinks that she was a dishwater blonde, and uh, uh, but in Wendy's world, it 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 works. It's okay. She does make up her own words. She has her own language. We call it windyisms. Um, you have to learn to speak windyisms to know what's going on. We'll be talking um, in the office with some other agents and admin, and she'll say something, and everybody will look at me like, what? And I'm like, I, I understand it, I get it. I'll tell you later. And, and she just, she has her own language. It, 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 it really should be taught in schools. Hello, Wendy. I'm sorry I can't be there in person to personally congratulate you on your outstanding award. But through the use of modern technology, I'm here through this video. First off, a big congratulations to you for being awarded the Thomas W. Lamb Junior Hall of Fame Award. I understand that this award is given to those who go above and beyond their call as a realtor. It goes to someone who has dedicated their lives to serving the needs of buyers and sellers, but also serving the needs of the fellow realtor, the realtor organization as a whole, and doing their part to bring positive and lasting change to all that they touch. You have dedicated your life to this profession, and the lives that you have touched through the years have been many. It's not always been easy, but it has not always been hard. Like any worthwhile endeavor that is committed to, the rewards for self and the rewards for others make it all worth it. Again, congratulations on your well-deserved honor. I look forward to seeing you soon. I love you. And again, congratulations. Wendy, I and we, your family, are exceptionally proud of you. Uh, to be honored at this level by your peers is something uh, very, very special. Congratulations. I love you. I'm proud of you. All of the family is very proud of you for everything that you have accomplished. You are driven and you've just been a great role model for us and you deserve this. But congratulations, I love you and this is very well deserved. It's such an honor to work for you and your team and to learn from you every day and congratulations. Congratulations on this award. You're being inducted into the Hall of Fame for 2020. That's an amazing feat. Um, not many people get to, to that part in their life, so congratulations. So Wendy, we love you. Thank you for all you do. She's a hard worker and deserves everything she's getting. So love you, babe, and yay. And, and before we go, you remember, are we the doctor? Or the patient. Congratulations. Congratulations.